Welcome back everybody, so the new Fanatical Winter Mystery Bundle has just been released, so let's jump in and see what's inside. With a little bit about the bundle, we've got over 240 games including over 190 never before included in Fanatical Mystery Bundles. Also on top of that we have 5 golden gifts hidden inside one of these bundles are knocking around somewhere but as always if you win one of those you're the lucky SOB on the planet and you should go and put a lottery on straight away. Because they're extremely rare to come across I think I have purchased 61 of these mystery bundles throughout the year since December last year to to date and I've never come across one. So let's get on to the positive side of these, 190 new games inside this bundle but also not only that if you head over to the Fanatical website and go to the blog Scroll down till you find the Winter Mystery Bundle and here for the first time since forever they actually have a list of not every game but most of the games you can find inside this Winter Bundle. I'd just like to make one suggestion too fanatical about these Mystery Bundles if you could please refrain from putting in previous bundles into your Mystery Bundles. Uh, you know me, I'm really not arsed whatever games I get a giveaway anyway it's for your other consumers so for example if they had bought a Tomb Raider bundle and they go and buy one or two of these mystery bundles and they end up pulling out three or four Tomb Raider games they may not be too happy about these things also on the upside it is good that you manage to go to the publishers and get the go-ahead about being able to release to the public of what is actually in the mystery bundles so without further ado let's start opening some keys so the first one is going to be Leisure Suit Larry. Number two is Space Pilgrim. Number three is The Uncertain, The Last Quiet Day. And number four, sorry you can't see that, is actually Vampire of the Sands. So number five is One Shift. Number six, Tomb Raider, four. And number seven is The Dead Dynasty. Number eight, we have Valnay Rock Survival. Number nine, Without Within Two. And number ten, we have Abandoned Ship. Okay, calculation is done. And I purchased this bundle for £6.65. And the full ten games came to £68.80 on Steam. Now this, <laughs> this was probably one of the shittest bundles you could have possibly pulled out of this winter mystery bundle i mean look listen to some of these prices two pound 98 90p 399 399 499 199 399 literally the only game in there that probably saved its ass was abandoned ship that is the only one there that looked relatively decent <laughs> you know that this bundle was that shit if anybody wants any of those games from this first bundle you may you don't even need to come to the stream for them just message me and i will send you the key uh, all for except abandon ship because i've not given that one away on the stream yet so i'll see how that one goes down uh, during the giveaways over december so let's hope things pick up in this one so bundle number two we have subject 13 that sounds new Seven Wonders 2. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a shitload of Seven Wonders knocking around in this bundle as well. Uh, let's see how many of those are pulled out. Uh, the D Dynasty again. Uh, number four, you can't see, is Battle Academy 2. The Eastern Front that came in a bundle previously for about a quid, I think it was. Uh, Gardens Inc. That one sounds new. Number six, <laughs> Seven Wonders of the Asian World. Number seven. Uh, Skybreak also possibly a new one there number eight we have Midnight Mysteries number nine Luxor three and number ten we have <laughs> three of the seven wonders games I've just pulled out in that one bundle <laughs> fuck me <laughs> I can't believe it three of them three <laughs> <laughs> three of those games. I was met what makes matters worse. I think they're like match three games or some crap like that. So calculations have been done. This bundle cost me six pounds twenty-two and it came to eighty-two pounds ninety as RRP on Steam. However, that is an over inflated price because the Battle Academy 2 Eastern Front is actually priced at $29.99 on Steam, which for a game that's nearly six years old should not hold that price tag technically the game's worth 
less than a tenner. It was actually sold in a bundle on Fanatical not too long ago for all the Battle Academies to all the DLCs for around a fiver. So you can see the inflation in price there. So two bundles down and let's face it, they are not good. What I've, what I've just pulled out though, those first 20 games were absolutely terrible. The only, <laughs> the only thing that's going to turn this around is if I get one of those golden boxes knocking around here, then I'm going to be buzzing. But so far, this seems like a drastic purchase. Uh, for anyway, obviously not for me, but for everybody else, you know, hold fire. <laughs> Don't buy them yet. So we've got Tomb Raider 5 this time. Next is Asterix and Obliques XXL 2. And then we have The Uncertain again. Number 4, we have Unhack 2. Number 5 is The Crown of Leaves. Number 6, we have 911 Operator. Number 7 is Iron Storm. Number 8, Pump BMX Pro. Number 9. Uh, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver 2, there's a few of those knocking around in here as well. And number 10 is Hyperspace Invaders 2 Pixel Edition. Calculations are done and again we paid £6.22 for this and it came to £86.70 as the RRP on Steam. Now a good couple of games coming out of there was the Asterix and Obliques game that came as a price of £24.99 which was a decent, never seen before, never given away before so that will be nice for the community. Uh, a couple of low price games, there's a few visual novels knocking around as well when I'm checking these games out. Uh, Pump BMX Pro, it's actually the first time I pulled that one out. Normally you get the standard first game of the Pump BMX Plus. Um, other than that, not very much going for it. Okay, so fingers crossed for Bundle 4, let's see what we have for you all. Number 1. Asterix and Obliques again. <laughs> the two gummies they give away. Uh, abandoned Ship again. Number three, we got Pongo. So let's do four. Ooh, Angelica Weaver, Catch Me When You Can. Number five, Tomb Radio Legend. Number six is Nostradamus, The Last Prophecy. Number seven, we'll do is Hamsterdam. Number eight, Brutal. Number nine, Savage Lands. And number ten, Leisure Suit Larry 5. Okay, so let's go and price this one up. With this one, again, it cost me £6.22, but the price of this came to £97.90. Okay, let's move on to the final bundle. And here we go. Number one, Void Invaders. Number two, Space Pilgrim Academy Year 3, that's another 90 pence game, another copy of Hamsterdam. Number 4, The Book is a Dungeon. Number 5, Samantha Swift and the Golden Touch. Number 6, Without Within 2. Let's do number 7, is Caravan. Then number 8, Dead Synchronicity. Number 9, Acorn Assault <laughs> and number 10 Zombie Bowlerama so let's go price this one up so all priced up again I paid £6.22 for this one with a 5% discount and this was the worst one of the lot £55.80 was the RRP on Steam literally every game was 3 99 2 799 699 399 499 it was it was just it was so bad and it just goes to show in this consolidation summary that's here now just look at the amount of games that are in the two to five pound section absolutely astonishing how poor some of the games were that came out of this winter mystery bundle not only that, but the games in the five to eight pound section are not good whatsoever. The only saving grace for these 50 games that I bought were obviously the Asterix and Obliques. That was literally it. Obviously, there are some better games in there that you can get. I just didn't get them out, but astonishing, astonishing how bad some, <laughs> how bad this was. 
really probably one of the worst ones of the year i mean the bundles all five bundles cost me 31 pounds 53p the rrp on steam for all those 50 games including the dupes was 392 pounds bearing in mind the previous one that i did in autumn i think it was actually had a steam rrp of over 520 quid so that's a huge drop in the quality of games in this bundle uh, again the bundle is decent because you're only paying 63p per key whereas the average game on steam for all those keys the average price sorry would have been seven pound 84 but let's face it most of those games in there are probably worth 60p i'm going to struggle to give these away on the stream i mean so the bundle is not that good this year and as I just said, I'm going to be giving them all away. So here's the events list that I've got for December on Twitch. So we're giving games away. Not just these ones, don't bear in mind. I'm not just giving away all these keys that you see here. There's much, much better ones to be giving away. Which obviously starts this Friday and runs up until Christmas Eve. So if you're interested in any of the games at all, giving away obviously for free on my channel just head over there now please let me know your thoughts on this winter bundle personally as i said at the start for me i give the games away so you know not too disappointed but at the end of the day if it was you and you got all these games from your money obviously after something good and you got the trash that you've just seen there how would you feel please let me know in the comments and as always i'll see you next time